Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Chronicles of Crazies. My name is Cassie and today we are playing some more Legend of Zelda. Get back here. Oracle of Seasons. And right now I'm dying a horrible painful death. So I'm, I'm literally just trying to find hearts. Hey, there's a marketplace. I like markets. Markets sell. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. He's got hearts. Three peaches. Ten ore chunks. Yeah. Why not? You got hearts. Ten ore chunks. Two any gill seeds. I think that's a ripoff. Ten pegasus seeds for 25 ore chunks. That's still a ripoff. Rare peach stone. 20 ore chunks and 10 ember seeds. Uh, we don't have the money for it, but we are going to come back and get that. Hello, ribbon. Cute ribbon. I'll trade for star-shaped ore. Well, we don't have star-shaped ore. So, that's not happening right now. But, uh, let's, let's have a look around. Let's have a look around. We're back in Sabrosia, so that means there is a good possibility. Hello. Lately, Sabrosia Market has begun carrying lots of weird things. I think they get it all from the temple. So, we're back in Sabrosia, so that means we're getting more, uh, we're probably getting another season. Rosa, the pop star, has been seen around here a lot lately. Oh, that's cool. Rosa's key can open any door, even ones in the temple. Well, that's a big freaking hint. Thank you, random NPC. Thank you. You can find star-shaped ore in the sands around here. That's cool. So... Really? Alright. Actually, I did this- I did this in a different place. Wow. I'm sorry, my brain just has shut off. Let's try that again. I actually tried recording this, um, a few days ago, but the record- but the... thing froze. So... I'd essentially just lose the entire recording, and I was really sad. And I spent a while trying to find this stupid ore chunk, but I guess it's always right here. Hello? I heard Rosa lost her ribbon. I'm looking for something else she'll like. Huh. Well, there's a ribbon at the market. I wish I could go on a date with Rosa just once. How do I get her interested? Well, she lost her freaking ribbon. We have a star-shaped ore. So there's a good shot. We could probably get on a date, go on a date with Rosa. I'm gonna give Rosa something she likes, so she'll date me. You're a creepy, creepy guy. <clears throat> so let's go get that. Let's go get that um, ribbon. So maybe Rosa will go on a date with us. Hello. I want this. Okie doke. Alright. I'm gonna dig my way back. Ah! Ah! I don't like that. This way maybe I'll have 20 ore chunks. Ooh, hello. By the time we come back so I can get, you know, the, that nice piece of heart. Or uh, as they say, the peach stone. Peach stone! Ore chunks are nifty right here. Not a bad thing to have them. Hello? Rosa's mystical necklace opens locked doors. Celebrities get the best toys. That's cool. Ah! Fire thingy. Hey, that's the girl we saw earlier. Hello. What a cute ribbon. Is it for me? Yeah. Wow, like, thank you. Hey, now she really looks like the girl. Since you're so nice, I'll go on a date with you. Let's go look in that temple. Alright, dude. You get this nice date music. Hello. Whatever. Let's go get that piece of heart too before we get going. I like pieces of heart. Pieces of heart are really nice. And they make me feel good. Oh, so now they sell bombs. Whoa. We don't have that kind of money, dude, but I'd rather get this thing. So remember that this guy carries some nice things. I want to see what... Oh, he carries a ring now. So, once you buy that piece of heart, you just get a ring. I do recommend coming back and getting that, um, 
bomb bag when you can. Hopefully I will be coming back to do that, but we'll see. Boomerang man. So I recently started playing League of Legends again. I say again, but I'm really, really bad at the game. Like, really bad. Like, I'm not good at those RTS sort of Dota kind of games. It just, it's not my kind of game. This is more my kind of game where I'm like, hack and slash, bam, 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 bam. Come on, Rosa. Not that I don't like it, but, like, I play with my husband. And it's bad, because I, I tend to die a lot. I mean, I kind of, I know theoretically what I need to be doing. But I can't do it. It's like riding a bike. You can know how to do it, but you, you can know the theory behind riding the bike, but it doesn't necessarily mean you know how to ride the bicycle. You have come, adorable hero. I am the spirit of summer. In summer, vines grow tall and creeks dry up. Remember that. Ancient Hyrulean legends say the hero destined to overthrow evil has a mark on his has a triangle mark on his left hand. Perhaps you are this hero. Now, I grant you the power of the spirit of summer. That's cool, thank you. Yay, we've been blessed. So now that we have that, we're gonna head back out and we're gonna head to the temple. So I will meet you. I will meet you at the temple. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! So, on our way back, I did dig up some ore and we're gonna buy the big bomb bag. You can carry more bombs now! Plus you get free bombs! That's awesome. So I paid bombs to get bombs. So what does that replace with? Oh, just gosh, gotcha seeds. So now it's just, you know, got pretty generic stuff. And now we can hold 30 bombs! Yay! 30 bombs! Alright, now this time we'll, I'll meet you back at the temple. Okay, bye. Wow. Alright, so we made it back to the temple. We're just gonna, we're gonna change the seasons. Now it's winter, but now we've got summertime, which makes vines grow. Welcome to Poison Moth's Lair. So in this video, we're only, I'm only gonna get us up to, oh, actually I need this. I'm only gonna get up to the mid-boss in this video, and I'll finish it in the next video. So, don't worry too much. So let's get started. Oh! So, these guys, these guys used to give me hell when I was a kid. So I was like, I don't, I don't understand. What are these? Ah! You come over here, Mr. Owl says, Good defense is the best offense against spikes. So he basically just told us, Oh, hey, use your damn shield. Okay, Mr. Owl, I'll use my shield. Hold orbs! I don't know if that's what they're actually called. But that's what I'm calling them. Because like Honey Badger, I don't give a crap. Bam. Hit the right button, Link. Get it together. Um, can't actually do anything about this thing yet. So we're not gonna worry about it. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! I honestly hate these things. I hate them so freaking much. They were a little better in Ocarina of Time because you got at least a shadow. And you're like, okay, just avoid the shadow. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. All you have to do is move the pot over. But as you can see, you can't just lift the pot because it'll break. What you gotta do? 
just you can move it. Anyway, I like Wallmasters better in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask because, well, you're not royally screwed every time you try and fight them. They at least drop a shadow. Oh, these are mimics essentially. Uh, you can't kill that thing, I don't think. Let's check out what's this way. Alright, we can't go that way yet. Trust me, you don't want to even try. Hello? Oh, let's not die. Horribly and painfully. I don't like... I don't want to die, guys. I got a key! Alright, that was, that was nice. That was easy. Oh, you guys! I hate the bunnies! What are you doing? I got you. Take that, Mr. Bunny. My OCD actually kicked in. I can't believe that. Alright, let's come up this way. I need heart. Okay, a rupee works, but I need hearts. Yay, we got bombs. Okay, bombs are useless, but... Check this out. This has a weird marking pattern right beneath it. Listen to that. You get, get that clank. You get a really dull clank. That'll indicate that this wall is bombable. You can actually go through this dungeon without ever even looking at this, but I'm here to show it off. We've got the dungeon map. Darkened rooms are ones you haven't been to yet. This is the third frickin' map. I hope we know that by now. So, I don't know what that looks like. Actually, that looks like a moth face. Now that I really think about it. And that's the actual moth. And this is where it froze last time. So, hopefully, we won't get screwed royally. these up here in a nice little line. What you want to do is match it. Um, I just panicked a little bit. But it's okay. It's okay. I didn't screw with this up horribly like I did in the first dungeon. Where, you know, just wandered around a little bit and did really badly. Ah, I don't want this. Does not want, does not want. Okay, boss room. But, you know, we haven't been able to do anything. These are weird looking marks, but we can't do anything about them yet. Anything up here? Oh, nutters. No! Go away! No! Why did I do this? I'm an idiot. Yay, hey, I got rupees. I like rupees. Rupees are nice. Just like the game said. Alright, so, um... I made a g Oh, hey, we're back here. So, we're not super screwed. Ow! Hey, leave me alone! Oh, jeez. 
Ah, the rock's feather. Thank God. You feel light as a feather. So let's try this bad boy out. So now you can jump. So... I don't know if you can hear that, but that was the sound of me hitting my face. Because I feel stupid. God! Link, get it together, man. Are you serious? I gotta do that again now? I'm dying of horrible, painful death. No! I died a horrible, painful death. I'm an idiot. We can get over there. We're gonna get over there. I got over there. Bam. Underground. I'm an idiot. Alright, alright. Let's not screw this up. Okay, okay. We got this. Whoa. Whoa. Let's take it easy. Let's just take it really easy. Whoa, that was close. I got scared. I got legit scared. What do you have to say, Mr. Owl? Jumping up and on will send you even higher. Let's just talk about tramp Mr. Trampoline here. Hello, Mr. Trampoline. You found the compass! Yay! Okay. So let's move that trampoline, because there's another hole in here. And hopefully I can find the mini-boss sometime soon. Please? Forgot how long this dungeon is. Bam! Oh, no. Alright, let's let it roll back. <laughs> let's put our sword back- no, right there. We can do that, that's cool too. Alright, so trampoline has to come here. So let's go move that. And another note, my husband started a Earth Dawn game. I'm really super excited about it because it's actually super fun. I like D D that kind of thing, and it's like D&D. And I always end up playing an elf. Oh, hello. You got a key. I don't know where to go. There's a lot of places we can go. I'm almost tempted to die just to, like... Let's go this way. I don't think we went this way. get crushed, so let's not get crushed. Whoa! But I wanted that heart. Oh. Hello, Mr. Thwomp. You did a really bad job at smooshing me. I'm not impressed. Alright, so, we're back here! Yay! I 
happy for us. Let's go wandering again. Whoa! You're not gonna get me today! Not today! Eat my sword! I am doing this semi-blind. It has been several years since I've played this game. Not joking. Oh, hey, we've got this thing. Um, what's down here again? Oh, yeah, we already got that. We don't need to worry about it. So, remember last time we hit that button? Just jump right over it. And then, you just run... Oh, mid-boss. Hello? I think you... I think you need this. Yep. Yep, so you just basically, like, pull him out of the water. And you whack him as much as you can. I'm not doing a good job at it. Come back here. Alright, alright, we've got one. It's one down. Ow. Stop that! I don't like it! Alright, let's hope that I can kill this guy and not die. Die. Dang it! <laughs> uh, I will meet you back there. We're gonna try it again. Alright, let's try this stupid thing again. We're gonna do it. 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 Now that I have an idea of what I need to be doing. I'm telling you, I haven't done this in, in a very long time. Alright, you're bad at this, Link. Here, so I can kill you. Say what again? I dare you. I actually finally watched Oops. Pulp Fiction. I've seen it once. I am utterly baffled by it. It is a fantastic film. Alright, so we finally did this. We got here. We got the summer power. We've got the rock feather, which allows us to jump. And look at that, level 1. Rock's feather level 1, which means we're gonna possibly get a level 2. But anyway, we just beat the mid-boss, and like I said, we're gonna end the video off here. So next time on the Chronicles of Crazies, we're gonna go find the big boss. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!